How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the couch. It's your boy, Potato Amir. Or if you're a wrestling fan in the Maritimes and you've seen before, you might know me as Remy Petit. Now, today we're going to be looking at the Resident Evil showcase that was yesterday, showcasing Resident Evil Village, aka Resident Evil 8, which is my personal franchise. But before we do that, I just want to announce that I will be joining the North Pro YouTube channel to provide them with some gaming content. Now, since I love Resident Evil so much, I've agreed that I will do Resident Evil Zero, play them all up to Resident Evil 7, getting ready for the release of Resident Evil 8 coming out later this spring. So if you want to watch these episodic episodes, I guess you can call them, of Resident Evil, go join the North Pro uh, channel on YouTube. The link is in the description. I'm still going to be doing content on my own channel, mainly Apex stuff, but I'll do some variety more on that channel. Now with all that said and done, let's get to the Resident Evil Showcase. Enjoy! Alright. <laughs> there were some wolves and... Hey everyone, thank you so much for were joining us zombies? today and welcome to our know. Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So zombies? without further ado, vampires. let's get started. I guess we'll wait and see. Here we go. I think this should be eight. Or village. Hey now. Yeah. Think positively, all right? Yeah, me and Ethan. We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I wonder what's gonna happen. I'm curious now. I got, I got the shivers, man. I'm so excited. I'm getting some RE4 vibes from this. Or Salazar. Mansion type castle. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Heisenberg? Because he is in my castle and has already proven Breaking too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Okay. What, what happened? I'm intrigued. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Is me involved in this somehow too? Dark and dingy. Okay. That's how I like my Resident Evils. Are they witches? Like, what are they? I think they're witches. Chris, with a baby. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> it's gonna be like a big chase the whole game. Those are the things that make me nervous. Is being Who the chased. fuck are you? Yeah. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> What's up, Johnny Depp? Ah, damn, okay. So that's our first look at Resident Evil 8. That was New amazing, look, I guess. but I still have so many questions. You and me both, sister. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Not Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Not really. Let's see That's what not he has one of my questions. Say. Tell me when it's going to release. That's one of my questions. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5. I'm happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current gen as well. 
Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 day and date with PlayStation 5. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Resident Evil Village will be available worldwide on May 7th, 2021. With That's coming soon. With off today. That's in three Alongside months. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. So, First, is it a PS exclusive? Edition, available on all platforms. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a collector's edition. That's a nice console, Chris figure. That includes all the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, Ooh, I'd love to poster, get that Chris and figure. artbook. And for those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard That's Bundle. good. For this if you've never played you 7. On the award-winning RE7 while you which wait I'm currently playing. <laughs> Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource okay. pack. Oh, it's an accessory. Which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. Okay. Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. So you basically have All to right. have the disc version of the PS5? This. I know you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. All right. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. Yes. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Captured on PS5. Just like in Resident Evil 7 so, Biohazard, yeah, this is a PS you'll be taking control of Or will of it be Ethan on Winters. Xbox and PC as well? They haven't announced You'll that. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've okay, noticed by so now, our daughter's kidnapped Resident Evil Village keeps Chris? the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Hmm. I would love to see a, like, a third person, like the remakes of 7 and 8. It'd be, it'd be fantastic. This is very Resident Evil-ish, you know, a mansion, a castle, come to life you know. here. I like it. The team put a ton of effort into creating a true authentic feel. I get some RE4 vibes, I said it earlier, but... From art design to technology. Big vibes Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. What's up, bitches? Man blood. Did you say man wood? Ah, now, let's take a look at him. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Ugly. You ain't no Shifting Evelyn. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. Okay. No more molded, so I'm happy about that. The molded were, I don't know, they were weird things. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important yeah, part of the game. Like it was in the Like it was in seven. Okay, you can push now. Good. Ethan's learned some things. Each type of enemy has their oh own distinct way of fighting. Hagrid! So you need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels. Yeah. Right? Shoot them. Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, very good. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. New weapons, okay. This really reminds me of 4 now. I 
I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Is a new merchant? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. I think this is a new the merchant. merchant makes a yeah. return. <laughs> this time he's known as the Duke. There you go. What are you going to buy and sell weapons? What are you others. selling? <laughs> Thank you. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. To say the uh -huh. least. <laughs> Break that Smash shit. Smash away with your trusty knife. That's right. There's plenty of items to find in your trap. I get yet spooked. Wait, do you hear that? Yes. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main okay. ones. <laughs> of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Okay. Fuck. Man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. Why? Shoot the bitch. Well, that's one way to end the video. Okay. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Oh, I don't want a PS5 yet. <laughs> For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. The Maiden? Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Okay. So you're just exploring and running? We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Boo. Of course, <laughs> we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms okay. ready for sometime this spring. All right, well, at least there's that. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise, with the very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. I can't believe it's been 25 then, years. the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. I was 11 games. years old when this came out. toys and board games, to CG movies, to live action Hollywood films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a close beta test. The test won't happen until later next week. But I, think it's I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last this September, is pretty good. we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. There you go. All right. I think this is the multiplayer game they've been talking about. Okay, it's like cell, like a um, cell shading. <laughs> Our reverse is one of the ways we are celebrating the 25th reverse. anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. 
It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And check out the official website for even more details. Okay. I think I get it. So it seems like when you die, you kind of, like kind of become On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft. Congratulations to the Resident Evil team. Kind of become like a villain almost. We can't wait to get you our become, hands on you're like a, you become one of the dead. For the occasion, we are bringing a celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's Oh, really? Nice. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. Interesting. Ubisoft and Capcom teaming up. I play The Division too, so this is awesome. I'm definitely going to be logging on to get that. <laughs> Punk. Nice, nice. Leon Kennedy RPD outfit. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh yes, this is the, um, I think this is the anime that they're making for Netflix. ブルースリーディシージアニメーションバイオハザードインフィニットダークネスについてお話したいと思います。ゲームでおなじみのレオンとクレアが活躍する物語となっております。え、時間軸はバイオハザード4の後のえ数年後のお話となっておりまして、え